welcome to Itshrakti. In this video, we will solve the question number 13 of chapter 7, class 10 computer science. The question is, write a C program and define a function. The function name is source and that source is an element in an array and returns the index of the element. For example, suppose uh, the user entered uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I have search for 3. Then it should return that index is 2. So here I have declared one function int search and here I passed through the function an array that is arr and integer n this is for size of the array uh, size of the array and one more integer x it is the element which I am searching inside the array. So there are three parameters I am passing through the function and here I am writing and uh, creating one more variable that is for index and by using for loop we are accessing the array element and compare with the uh, number which user want to search and if it is found we are returning the index and if it is not found if it is not found then we are returning minus one here is the main function in main function we have declared first the one variable n in n variable we are taking the size size of the array and stored inside n after that we are declaring an array the name of the array is arr and the size is n which is given by the user user and one more variable x there we are going to store which uh, element user is going to find now by using this for loop we are taking input inside the array after that we will take one more number from the user that will be the x and we will store inside the variable x means which number user is going to be searched from the array and after that we will call the function search and inside the through the function we will pass three parameters that is array and that is size of the array and x that is the element which we are going to search and one more variable index inside the index we are going to store the index of the uh, that particular searched element now we will compare if the index is not minus one means see here in function we have written like that way if the element is found we are returning the index and normally array index start from 0 it can be 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 any number but if it is not found we are returning minus 1 that's why here we are comparing if index is not minus 1 then we'll uh, display the index and if it is minus 1 then we'll print a message that, uh, that the number is not found inside the array and after that return 0 and program over. Now you may who are very new to function you may think that uh, where did I declare the function where did I write the definition here I have uh, done declaration this part is declaration and I have written the definition together along with the de definition. So this is the function search and this is main function inside the main function and this is normal tux through which I am collecting the input for the array and after that uh, we are calling the function search here I am calling the function and we are storing the index inside the variable that is called index and after that we are comparing if index is not minus 1 then we will print the value and if it is minus 1 then we will say that element is not found so let's see whether the program work or does not work first we will compare the file is already saved so no need to save it again and compare uh, executing the file so asking me enter the size of the array let it be 7 enter now first element 8 then I'm entering some random numbers so these are my input now asking me the element that I want to search let it be 5 so element 5 is found at index 
file so this way we can do this program the program is a bit landy we can make it a bit small but uh, if we make it small it will be a little difficult to understand the program so I make the program little landy so that it will be easy to understand and in next video we will do the other question question number 14 this is question number 13 and this question there is very less chance that it will come in examination it may come also so if you want to improve your knowledge in programming in function then you can practice this question try to do yourself definitely uh, will like it thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye mm -hmm.